Add all new video tonight showing a daycare worker in South Carolina picking up and tossing children. This is very hard to watch. These are the people you trust your young children with. And sadly, this isn't the first time we've reported on bad behavior at daycares and preschools. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins is live tonight with this story. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, we have covered several stories of child care turned child abuse. But the good news and what we want to tell you about tonight is that there's a simple way for parents to make informed decisions. Investigators releasing this disturbing video this week. In it, they say Marquita Rainey, a worker at Sunshine House Daycare in Aiken, picks multiple screaming children up by one arm, then throws them onto their mats. In one part of the video, it appears she even hits a child. Aiken DPS charged Rainey with five counts of unlawful conduct toward a child, then quickly notified parents. That way they can look for things so that if, uh, if other things have occurred with their child, we can take the appropriate steps there. The video gut-wrenching for parents. Finding a daycare is like one of the most frustrating and scary things as a mom. Both North and South Carolina have state-run online portals of every single registered child care service. There you can see all recorded violations. We looked up Sunshine House where this incident happened and found in the last year they were cited with more than a dozen code red violations. That's the most severe kind. CBD says most of their child care abuse reports come from in-home daycares that aren't even legally licensed. It seems like maybe about once a month we find one and that they're usually in-home daycare. Unlicensed since daycares won't show up on these sites. And without a license, that means that they're not being checked. Just another reason police say you should absolutely check online before enrolling your child anywhere. I mean, this is your most precious, your most precious person. So we've got those links up on WCNC.com for you to check out. Rainey is out on bond and will face a judge on these charges next month. Reporting live, Savannah Levin, NBC Charlotte. Savannah, thank you.